In the video today, I'm going to be taking you through a bit of a portrait masterclass inside Luminar Neo. You can actually use this AI photo editor to get some really awesome portrait editing results. You can do things like beauty retouching, fine art retouching, you can do newborn retouching for baby photos, you can do normal portraits and lots more. And I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So if you haven't yet, you should definitely hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you here on the channel at Ben's Guide. Let's jump in to the good stuff. If you've just got a copy of Luminar Neo, or perhaps you're looking at getting a copy, this is going to be a tutorial I think that you'll really enjoy and benefit from. I'm going to show you how you can achieve some really awesome looks using portraits and different kinds of portrait editing, which you might come across in your editing workflow. Now this is an image which has got a really nice kind of atmosphere to it already but we're going to transform it and we're going to turn it into like a fine art portrait or something that's got a mystical feel to it. Luminar Neo has some really good tools to do that with so let's get into this. First off I'm going to start by using the atmosphere tool. This is under the creative tab and this is one of the AI photo editing tools inside Luminar Neo. Clicking on the atmosphere tool, you've got different options to add in things like fog, mist, haze, and things like that. For this image in particular, I think we're going to jump in and add some mist. Now you've got some options where you can add more or less using the amount slider. So we're going to push this up to about a quarter of the way, and you can see that this has been added into the background. Now we want to bring the mist in this image closer to the front of the photo, to where the subject's standing, so we're going to use that really nice technology, that 3D depth map that Luminar Neo has. And we're going to use the depth slider here to bring this closer to the front of the image. Now what's lovely here now is we've got this misty effect, which is really kind of permeating into the whole image and transforming the look of it. If you have a look at the before, you can see that we've got that feel to the image, but just taking it up a notch when we add this atmosphere in and this misty effect. The next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and add in some sun rays. The reason this is going to look really good is because at the moment you've got this misty look which is coming down on her face. She's almost closing her eyes and just enjoying the feeling of being out in nature. You can add like warmth to this by using the sun rays effect by creating some sun rays and really taking this up to the next level. Clicking on the sun rays we need to place a sun center. So you get this little circle thing which shows up here, just dragging that into the corner. We want to actually make it come from this direction. The reason being is she's standing in this direction and you can already see the mist coming down this way anyway. So now if I push up the amount, you can see that this starts bringing in some of the rays into the image. Now this already looks good, but we want to make a few changes to make it look even more real. Using the penetration slider here, you can actually make it more of an overall effect by bringing this up instead of just a few different rays. So pushing that up there, you can see that looks really good now. Now what we want to do is add some sun rays warmth just to make it look a little bit warmer. And there we go. We've got this really nice effect. If you actually want to make it look different slightly, one of the options here to use, which is really beneficial, is just to bring down or bring up the sun ray length. You can affect how much into the image this affects. And straight away, bringing it here, you can see it's now lighting up the subject. Now, if we go into the ray settings here, we can bring down the number of sun rays so that it looks like more of an overall effect that we started off with a penetration. So let's bring this down. And then you can see that we're getting more of an overall look, which kind of blends better into the whole image. Now I actually think that looks really nice. So now we've got the sun ray sorted, we've got the atmosphere sorted with a mist. Let's go on and finish the effect with this beautiful glow effect right here. You've got four different options. You've got soft focus, glow, autumn effect, and autumn effect soft. I'm going to use soft effect to start with, and let's just bring the amount up and watch what happens to our image when we do. You can see that we really add in this beautiful fine art look this mystical fantasy effect to the image, and it just really takes it to the next level, as you can see right here. This is the before, and this is the after. Beautiful. When you're doing newborn retouching or baby retouching, there is one effect which is almost a staple of the retouching process, 
And in Luminar Neo, you can do this just with one tool and it makes it so quick if you've got lots of images to edit. We're gonna click into the Edit tab. We've got this beautiful picture right here. It's stunning, it's set up nicely, but just by adding this one effect, we can take it to the next level. Using the glow effect that we used previously, watch what happens. I'm gonna push this up and look how much it enhances the look of this effect. You can see right here, we've added this beautiful dreamy effect now to the newborn or the baby portrait. And this is one of the looks which really enhances this style of portrait. So if you're doing this style of portrait, I highly recommend if you've got a copy of Luminar Neo to jump in and use this tool, it will save you a lot of time. Using Luminar Neo for beauty retouching photos is actually something you can do quite easily. You need to jump into the portrait tab because this is where it all happens. And there's a few things that you can do here to, well, a few quick changes you can do, which can make a big difference. So we're gonna start off right now with the eyes. You've gone into the face tab, you can actually go straight to the eyes section here and then you can enhance the look of the eyes. If we just zoom in, you can see the eyes right now. She's already got beautiful blue eyes and they really capture your attention anyway. But just enhancing them a little bit, you can just use the eye enhancer, push that up to about a quarter or even a half if you want to add more and then also use the iris flare. And you can see that this has already made a really beautiful difference to the eyes and just enhance them super quick. The AI photo editor, Luminar Neo, is able to recognize these parts of the face quickly and make the changes accordingly. You've also got lots of other things you can do around the eyes. You can get rid of the dark circles. In this case, there's only a slight dark circle, but we can actually push this right up and watch what happens. This gets removed from the image underneath and it just draws more attention to the eyes because of it. And that's just a quick change you can make to enhance the image. Moving on from there, if your subject has kind of sporadic eyebrows, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but her eyebrows are a little bit patchy, you've also got the Improve Eyebrows tool, which you can push up and it just makes the eyebrows a bit darker and just fills in these little gaps a little bit by making it darker. And this is something which can be used quickly and easily using this portrait section. From there, sometimes I will light the face up. You can do that with this slider, just pushing the slider up and lighting the face a little bit if it's a bit too dark. Now, just in a minute or so, you can see that we've made some significant changes to this image. There's a few other things that we can do though, which will make even a bigger change. One thing I like to do is go into the skin AI section and just kind of smooth out the face. If you've used uh, retouching software like Photoshop, you'll know that you can do things uh, like frequency separation. It's something I used to do a lot back in my portrait editing days early on. But with this now, you can just choose the skin by using the slider because it already has this baked in to this Luminar Neo photo editor. So just by pushing this up to about here, I can now smooth out the skin and give this beautiful smooth look to the skin around the face. And what I like about this tool is that it doesn't go over the top. You can actually get a very natural look straight away just by using a quarter or half. Now, if your subject has shine on her face from harsh highlights, you can also use the shine removal tool, which is really, really good for removing those and balancing the overall luminosity on the face. Skin defects removal. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this tool. I don't think it does much. And I think that it's something that Luminar will improve in future. But if you want to add that, you can. But at the moment, you can see on this subject, it doesn't really need it anyway. Finally, we're going to jump in and we're going to change the lips. Now, at the moment, the lips look beautiful. So when I say change, I just mean enhance. So we're going to go to the mouth section and we're just going to add a bit more saturation because I think they look beautiful. And then we're just going to add some redness to give it that beautiful red lip look, which just looks fantastic. So let's push that up. And we've got that beautiful red look to the lips now as well. If your subject had the teeth that were really on show and they looked just a little bit yellow, then you could also just push the teeth whitening up and that would enhance the area as well. Let's take a quick look now at the overall retouch by clicking the eye. You can see this is the before and then this is the after. 
It's done a great job. And it's just another way that you can edit portraits. If you're into beauty retouching, you can do this quick and get great results. Next up, you can use Luminar Neo to get some really creative portraits. This is an example right here. Love this photograph. I love how it's been staged and I love the color, but you can enhance this even more to make it more creative. Now, what I like to start doing in this kind of thing is I like to use the Relight AI tool. This is a powerful tool. One of my favorites inside Luminar Neo actually, and one that you will find yourself using more and more and more, the more that you use Luminar Neo. So clicking on this, I'm gonna make the brightness near brighter. This is going to brighten up my subject in the image. Now I'm gonna use the brightness far, darken that, and this is gonna darken the background more in the image. Now this is just separating the foreground, which is the subject, from the background, which really doesn't have any details apart from that color. Then you can use the depth slider to balance the foreground and background between, and then see how much of the effect you want showing up. Now, actually in this image, you get some like strange things here. So it shows that maybe the resolution of the image is not great. So we're actually gonna push this up a little bit, and then we're gonna make sure that the depth is higher rather than lower. Now we can look here to see the before. This is the before where the subject's a lot darker. And then this is the after where the background's darker and we're lighting up the subject more, which is what we want, by the way. You don't want the subject being dark and the background being light. Otherwise, you're actually bringing the attention of the viewer to the background of your image. What's the point of doing that? So now we've done that, we're going into the advanced settings and I'm actually going to bring the warmth near down, that's going to add a nice cool tone into the image. So I'm bringing that down and we're adding this beautiful blue tone into the image, just enhancing the look of it already. Warmth far. Now, if we push the warmth up in the background, it's going to look a little bit weird. As you can see, we're adding this orange tint to it. So actually, I'm going to leave it where it is. So we've added, by using the Relight tool, we've added more light to the front, less light to the back, and we've added more of a blue color to the subject. So you can see here, we've enhanced the image already, but there are ways to really enhance this more. And one of them is using the Layers tab, which we now have inside Luminar Neo. Jumping up into the Layers tab here, I'm gonna click on plus to add a new layer. And then you're gonna see these flares and these options. So I'm gonna grab one which looks like the color of this image already. So let's use this one right here. I've added that in and that's gonna be applied. Now that's added this really gorgeous effect, which has just really enhanced it so much more. But of course, if this is too much and you wanna dial it back a bit, you can do. So you can grab the opacity here and bring it down so it's not so strong. Right now, if we look at the before, this is the before here, and then this is the after. And you can see how we've really almost exaggerated the look that we already had going for that creative look in camera so quickly just using these couple of tools inside Luminar Neo. You've got this beautiful creative effect now. And of course you can go on and increase this even more, adding more tools in to your edit. But right now, I love the look of this image. And if you want to change the effect of this uh, flare, which has been added, you've also got your blend modes as well. So you can use things like lighten to brighten it up, or you can even darken it if you wanted to, which is not gonna look particularly great in this. Oh, in fact, it doesn't look too bad at all, does it? Let's have a look at the before on that. I like that a lot. So you can see you can play around with the blend modes as well, and you can get some different effects doing that also. We've touched on this briefly already, but Luminar Neo has a brilliant tool called Relight AI, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But first off, Portrait Bokeh is just sensational, and this is something which I use so much. If I'm taking photos and say I'm shooting at f4, and I actually want the background to be more blurred, and I wish I'd actually used an aperture of f2.8, there's no need to be worried, because I can just bring it inside Luminar Neo, and then I can actually just do that using this tool. So using Portrait Bokeh, let's show you what I mean and how easy this really is. So this is gonna blur the foreground or the background or both in the image. So if I push up the amount slider now, right the way up, you'll see that after this is loaded for a few seconds, it's gonna start adding more of a blur to the image. And this is gonna separate the subject from the background. 
This means your subject will pop more in the image and then the background will take less of your attention, which is important because once again, the focus should be on the subject, not on your background. Now, right now it's made a little bit of an effect, but if we use this depth correction here and bring it down, you can see this is telling Luminar Neo that we just want the effect to be used on the background. And you can just see that's been applied now. Also, it makes a selection of your subject. We've done none of this ourselves. Luminar Neo, the AI editor, knows to pick out the subject. It knows what the subject looks like. The technology picks that out and then it just separates from the background. Straight away, this looks so good. You can see the before and the after. This is the before. It really, you know, the subject kind of gets lost. It's a beautiful photo of this woman in this red dress, but it gets lost. You've got this building in the background. It just takes so much of your attention. Now, the building has been <laughs> almost silenced a little bit. It's kind of blended in and it's more blurred in the background. Now, if you want to punch this up even more, you can do. You can just push up the amount slider and then you can really blur the background and the attention is just focused on the subject only. This is a brilliant tool, one I use all the time, one of my absolute favorites. Now you can actually take this up a level. You can go next step with this. And I do this a lot as well. I combine this with the Relight AI tool. So watch what happens here. We're gonna open up the Relight AI tool. We're gonna to go brightness near which is going to brighten up the near part of the image, which will be the subject in this case. And we're going to take the brightness down of the far area. Now, when this loads, you'll see this starts getting applied into the image. But the real important slider here is the depth slider. This helps you balance the light and the dark together or the light together. So if I bring the depth down, you can see it's going to affect more of the background and if I bring the effect up, it's going to affect more of the foreground. So it's about blending this in to achieve a beautiful look. But if I push that right down, you can see that the background has really been darkened now. And then I push this up. You can now see that the subject just jumps right out the image. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Really like the way this tool works. It's something I use all the time. Of course, you can change this a little bit if you want. So if you think it's a bit too dark in the background, you can bring that up just so it doesn't make too much of an effect. And there you go. This is the before, this is the after. All done in a couple of minutes. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. It's another long one from me. This is becoming quite a regular thing. I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. That'd be awesome. Have a great day, whatever you do, guys.